Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Last year, approximately a year ago, I made a video about Hisense S8 version, uh, which uh, I put 50 inch version of that. Uh, and that video was very popular. If you missed that video, I put it uh, in a card up there. A, and um, while I don't use TV in a sense that many people use TVs like gaming and computers and what's not, um, I think that review was very popular uh, for others not only to watch it but also have discussion uh, what it is and what it isn't. And the beauty of that is whatever I did not mention in, in the video, people describe during charter uh, in the comments below. So. Um, in this video, if you would like to ask questions or create community of people asking and answering questions from different perspectives about Q8, uh, I encourage you to do so. That's the whole point of review. I'm not trying to promote anything here or rubbish anything here. It's just what I feel works or doesn't work for me. And for you to make your own decision whether you go for Hisense or any other brand. Let's talk why I've got second Hisense TV and uh, reason, actual reason for that. Price aside, I will mention price soon. My first uh, smart TV was Sony, Sony Bravia, and second TV was Sony Bravia 2. Um, all of them were 55 inch, and the latest Sony that I had came uh, with Android version. And while Sony is very respected brand, I could not stand the Android version. Android was slow, it did not update properly, I was worried about bugs and everything else. And uh, on the second year when Android was start restarting, almost every time I started TV up, I thought it was a fault and I had to return the TV. Uh, then I had TCL. TCL in a version of uh, 75 inch and it was budget TV as well uh, and uh, look uh, it was Android version and the second time around where I did not quite Android not because what it does when it works it works beautifully it actually integrates quite well if you got Android ecosystem but uh, I cannot justify the amount of money that I would say better TVs cost not only from screen perspective but also other things. From the screen perspective, during the working day I work. I don't watch TV during the day. At night time, um, I'm not that uh, I guess fussy to see three, four, five thousand dollar difference between similar screens as of latest Samsung or latest Sony or latest uh, whatever other TVs. However, I did notice a um, big difference between uh, S8 and Q8 screen. This screen is gorgeous. Look, I don't want to turn it on because um, in the video I cannot describe how gorgeous it is. Maybe it's not as gorgeous as LG OLED screen or, or other advanced screens, but for price that you pay, there's a lot of TV for, uh, for that price. So, and the second one is I did not want Android and work around for that was if Vida operating system that comes with that doesn't, is not working 100% for what I want, I would buy Chromecast or Chromecast TV and that item would be $100 and connect to it and whatever I put in stream could not uh, put as an application. I would do them. So let's talk about uh, first of all things that I don't like about this TV. I guess you know many people that uh, invest money in TVs. Um, it's really easy to go into confirmation bias and start looking for what's good in TV. Let's talk about what not so good about this TV. First of all is um, what I don't like. I'm not sure whether I thought it's a glitch and I thought to return the other TV as S8. Uh, back to uh, under warranty, but this TV behaves the same. So for example, I like watching my news on channel 7 and for channel 7, uh, the channel for this is 70. So watch it in the evening, 
I turned it off. If I turn on in another hour, it will turn on channel 70 again. If I go to sleep and wake up in the morning, it will turn on on channel 1. It's not a big deal, but it's still annoying. I, I, I don't I don't know whether it's operating system bug or it, there's a setting about it. I could not find anything. I said it was a little bit annoying and the reason for that is not because um, it's hard to change the channel. I turn on and off TV with my um, Google speaker or Google uh, uh, smart device and um, I guess I would like with one command have what I want on TV while I'm doing what I'm doing in my, in my busy morning. So um, that's something that I did not like. The other thing that I don't like is um, while operating system is great, uh, many people on the internet and on YouTube community pointed out there's a very limited amount of applications and strangely enough on my previous uh, S8 version I can for example get application Euro News because we're in Australia and I like to, to watch European news. Um, this TV came with uh, Vida version 4 and I cannot download Euro News on that version of, um, of operating system. It's a bit strange. So uh, a limited amount of applications uh, and um, default settings not for everyone's liking. That's all. Let's start with what I would really emphasize good points of the TV. First of all, um, in Australia, I bought the TV for $1,100, 65 version. Uh, it's quantum LED TV. An amazing screen in 65 inch version for that amount of money. To be honest, I, I when I'm going to the shop, I don't see... Um, Maybe my is not as good, but I don't see that many thousand dollar better picture quality in other TVs. For one thousand dollars that you buy, one thousand one hundred dollars here, plus delivery, it's an amazing screen. It's a big step up from S8. If someone asking like how S8 compared to Q8, uh, in my eyes, I cannot compare. Q8 much better screen. Uh, it, all darks are dark. All brights are bright. Amazing. The motion is smooth, the picture is great, the sound is better, TV is amazing. Second, I know I rubbish a little bit operating system. Um, that's on the other hand, I do like it. Unlike Android, it's snappy. You really go on every single application that is pre-installed or you can pull from their shop or store um, and it's very fast. I use Stan, um, I use uh, Amazon Prime, I use YouTube. Uh, loads fast, amazing quality of everything, great. Uh, connectivity, great too. Also, one thing that I don't understand, I still yet to discover, there's nothing in manual, it came with two remotes. I'm using one of them, and actually, latest generation of remote is pretty good. They added Stan, YouTube, and Prime Video on, uh, on, on remote. And ABC iView in previous remote had only Netflix. It's really handy because you don't want to scroll through applications. Uh, I, I watch Stan with, um, with my uh, uh, kid and we press Stan button and it's uh, coming on the screen, which is great. So, first impressions, I use it only for a month. Um, operating system is snappy, screen is amazing, price is right. Depends on your, I guess, need and room size. Um, I want the 75 inch, but uh, I think it will be really too big for this room. So 65 is right size. And I think um, all sizes of this TV of Hisense, uh, we're talking about Q8 uh, version, are at amazing price point. So look, um, overall, would I recommend this TV? Yes, I definitely would. Um, and if you miss an Android operating system, I'll suggest, I don't know, look, it's my point of view, spend another hundred dollars, get Chromecast TV, um, Google TV, and connect through HDMI, problem sorted. You've got all applications uh, that you would uh, put on Android there. 
Um, I, I stream my video through Plex, I've got my Plex server, I watch Stan, watch YouTube, all good. Uh, Euronews, uh, you can cast through Chromecast or, or, um, or watch it on, on uh, Google TV if you connect to it. Would I, um, would I recommend this TV? Yes. Is it for everyone? Of course not. There are no items that's bought for uh, everyone. So I think if you after budget TV that is great looking, great performance for price and repeatable brand with three years warranty, I think Q8 version of Hisense could be TV for you. Uh, well, let me know in the comments what do you think if you've got Q8 or S8 or how it compares for you. And look, if you've got any questions or you would like to help those people that have questions in the comments down below, uh, please help community. That's what all videos are for. Uh, and let's keep the channel running. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, Greg from Brisbane, Australia.